in one problem based on basis as well as dimension how to find the basis as well as the dimension whenever three vectors are given okay so it is containing four elements each so let us see the first thing is that you need to form a matrix okay after that you need to reduce it into equivalent form so we'll form the matrix so forming the matrix is quite different form for the basis as well as dimension so you need to write it in row wise always remember row wise in the row form you have to write that means the given vector you have to write it as it is 1 minus 4 2 1 okay then next one 1 minus 3 minus 1 2 next one 3 minus 8 minus 2 7 okay after writing it in row wise after forming the matrix you need to reduce it into echelon form echelon form you need to reduce this matrix so for that i will do the row operation so i need to make this as zero this as zero and this as zero so for making this as zero r2 is r2 minus r1 and for making this as 0, R3 is R3 minus 3 R1. Okay. So after performing that operation, row operation, so first row will remain as it is. Second row, 1 minus 1 is 0. Minus 3 plus 4, it's 1. Minus 1 plus 2, it's 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 next 3 3 minus 3 times 3 it is 0 minus 8 plus 12 it's 4 minus 2 plus 6 it's plus 4 again 7 plus 7 minus 3 it's 4 again so after performing these two operations, I will get it as in this form. Now I need to make this as 0. So what shall I do? R2 is R2 minus. So R3, no, sorry. R3 is R3 minus R4 R2. 4 R2. Okay. So my matrix will be 1 minus 4, 2, 1. It will be 0, 1, 1, 1. This will be 0. 4 minus 4 is 0, again 0, again 0. See over here this operation I have performed. Now this has been reduced it into reduced into Eklund form. Now the thing is that for the finding the basis and the dimension, for the basis remember the non-zero rows will be the vectors. Therefore, I can say only 1 minus 4 to 1 1 minus 4 to 1 and 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 will form forms the basis the non-zero rows what are the non-zero rows these two are the non-zero rows and the last one is the zero row so forms the basis so non-zero rows of the reduced that means equivalent form of the given matrix will be the basis what about the dimension so the dimension of the given basis for the equivalent form will be equal to the number of vectors formed for the basis how many vectors has been formed two vectors or indirectly or instead of saying that we can say the number of non-zero rows is two non-zero rows is 2 and the number of vectors formed for the basis is also 2 so we can say the dimension for this will be 2